us what have you told Secretary Bruner about how things are going here tonight and what has, uh, how has she responded? Well, what I let uh, Secretary Bruner know is that uh, there were some challenges during the uh, public pretest of uh, the optical uh, scan machines that uh, would identify the issue as being isolated to one particular uh, M650. Uh, that one, as you heard from Director Platt, has been taken offline and the subsequent uh, tests are now going forward and seem to be going according to uh, plan and schedule. She's confident in the ability of these machines to get, a, get an accurate and uh, speedy count? Election. Well, she certainly is confident in uh, Director Jane Platten and her staff and her team and the partner with the ESNS uh, technicians uh, to figure out what the problems are, uh, to triage and work through those problems and uh, see that the county goes forward. Is there added concern uh, now because when she made this decision uh, back in what, December, January or so, uh, the, the prospect of Ohio mattering so much, uh, the idea that there would be an over 50% turnout right now is probably, you know, and of course thought about it, probably not probably at the time. Now, it sure. certainly will be. Is there a concern now when you're dealing with the turnout uh, that it's expected? Well, certainly when uh, Secretary Bruner broke the tie of the board members here in Cuyahoga County back in December, certainly as a part of contemplating you know, making that decision was the fact that we were going to have a record set of year in terms of voters and voter turnout. So we in part did anticipate uh, the need to make sure that we had systems in place that would be able to handle uh, the stress, if you will, of an increased number of voters. So I think that was certainly part of partially taken into consideration. You know, at the same time, you know, we don't uh, have a crystal ball. We certainly didn't anticipate uh, a 50% turnout for the Ohio primary. I'm not sure that, that any uh, a chief elections officer anticipated uh, almost a, a, a 40 or 50 or 60% increase in primary voters uh, from the last election cycle. Uh, but the fact is, if that's what's happening, um, we're prepared for it, we're making adjustments, and that's one of the reasons we have these public pretests as an opportunity to do one more level of testing before we get into the live uh, running of uh, machines and tackling on election day. Well, uh, you have to say, what is this? why does those have to kind of be that kind of Is this something, I mean, that's just what people are going to say. I mean, how do you get I think the reality is that we have uh, the 17th largest open jurisdiction in the country. Uh, clearly, the, the largest open jurisdiction in the state of Ohio. We have 6,000 poll workers, 1,000 trainees, backup workers, 576 polling locations. Um, the opportunity for things to perhaps go uh, not perfectly according to plan, it just multiplies geometrically when you're talking about a county as large and as complex as kind of county. You know, at the same time, uh, there's a team in place, there's a plan in place, and again, uh, these kinds of pretests uh, designed specifically to identify uh, issues that you have to work through. Uh, given, given how you guys got here, I mean, having to break the tie, right. uh, certainly now having this kind of matter so much, is there added pressure uh, for the state to get this one right? Well, I think that uh, there's always pressure uh, to get it right. And I think that uh, certainly uh, Ohio is not unaccustomed uh, to being in the place of pressure and being in the place of uh, people are watching very carefully and very closely. Uh, but the reality is ever since Secretary Bruner became Secretary of State, uh, Cuyahoga County has been a place where we have uh, focused a great deal of time and attention. And when you look at the series of uh, events and activities that have taken place here in the last year, uh, we believe that the things that needed to take place have now taken place to ensure uh, the best possible outcome. The perfect outcome? Perhaps not. But in terms of uh, having identified the management, the administrative, and the technical issues. I think we've put our finger on all of those, and I think we're in the best possible position to be successful. How important is what you're doing here going to be to the rest of the state? The Secretary Bruner has spoken for sure that you're going to want to bring your issues everywhere. Sure. So how important is it to make sure that Well, I think I, uh, the Secretary rightly knows that, uh, and of course has said on many occasions, that you know, through the lens of Cuyahoga County, people see Ohio. And uh, through the lens of therefore, uh, kind of the kind of see Ohio relationship with the world. Seems uh, they're not going to call it a problem. They're turning on all the machines so that they can help. Came the Secretary of State.
again, the effort, the time, the commitment, resources over the past year and now several months to making sure that we've done everything we can, I think is has underscored the fact that the Secretary is clear about how we're working this and how we're successful. So it would reduce some of that large overhead that we have planned in. Well, that's why we were using the same desk. I mean, for the test, I don't mind the disc being reduced. My thinking is just that we should have a larger sample of those okay, discs well tested. Then, Trevor or somebody's going to have to hurry up and scramble to get more discs then. Which they have them, right? They, they got them somewhere, right? I don't know. They got these, I think, at Micro Center. Okay. Start to make the All right. so we should be able to get then more. Use, okay, go ahead. Then use a different, a different disc for each test. Okay. My suggestion is that this would like to continue eliminating that. Uh, Fine, go ahead, do it. You got my answer. Great. Uh, okay, I just turned on the camera. They're testing two more machines. I believe it's machine number 9 and 10. 9 and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, they're testing 9 and 10. 18 ballots. They're using a new disc on each one. Is that is that from nine or ten? Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen zero report from the machine. Got it. Uploaded the results onto the It worked? Oh. Okay, no, we don't know yet. Aren't you ordering in for us? Hmm? I thought you were ordering in for us. But see, I, I know you don't eat, though. I, I'll eat Chinese. Vegetarian Chinese. The food is delight. Oh, you're, you're like picking menu items at this point. Of course. Oh Some vegetarian egg rolls. It's not a bad idea. Oh, I'll eat it. I wonder how long this is going to I would scarf it down. I just asked the question. I don't know what Should we all kick in for a piece? But you know, but you know what Jessica told me. Is she here with you in Cleveland? She's in Cleveland. So don't eat with that. So I, I am under orders. I have a power bar. You want to split a power bar? Oh, no, thank you. You can have it. Yeah. No. She said, I'm glad. I may have some leftover rice in the bottom of my briefcase. What if I sprinkle that on top of the power bar? But that would give you some good um, stability. Is it Uncle Ben's instant? Wait, is it cooked or uncooked? I don't know, it's been in there for a while. Oh, it's hard to tell by that time. <laughs> right? Yeah. I, I really do have a good power bar. Well, eat it, darling. <laughs>